hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel so today i am going to read the summary of the poem the cold within the poem entitled the cold within was written in 1960s during the african american civil rights movement kinney was outraged by inhuman discriminatory attitudes at the time and wrote this poem to prompt some serious soul searching the poet uses his poetic parable the cold within to illustrate the folly of falling prey to discrimination that short changes our own humanity the poem through the discriminatory acts of six humans tries to depict attitudes of human beings in general in the first stanza the poet tells us about six persons who were accidentally trapped in an extremely cold wave they had no escape from the serious situation they found the dying fire and sat near it to keep themselves warm the dying fire was only source of their survival but no one came forward to add the fuel to the dying fire they did so because they had their own reasons not to give up their log of words to the dying fire In the second stanza it is told that as the fire was dying very fast it greatly needed to be supplied with logs of wood when the first person saw a black in the group in the glow of fire he gave up the idea to add fuel with his own stick he was suffering from racial prejudice hence he kept his stick to himself the second person suffered from the feeling of intolerance he looked at the people around the fire and found that one of them did not belong to his own religion hence he could not convince himself to feed the fuel with his own stick he cared only for the people belonging to his own sect of christianity in the fourth stanza the poem says the third one was a poor man as he wore tattered clothes it seemed as if he was suffering from utter poverty he was full of bitterness and envy for the rich man who was sitting near the fire he did not wanted that the rich man could get warmth from his stick so he prevented himself to add the fuel to the dying fire the fourth one was a rich man he thought of his money he had in his possession and he also thought how he could keep it away from the poor man he thought he had earned that money through his sheer hard work whereas poor man was lazy and therefore living in poverty therefore he decided not to use his stick for the welfare of the poor man the fifth one was the black man he was full of hatred for the white man as he had seen the white man near the fire he was determined to take revenge against him and to fulfill his revenge he prevented himself from adding his log of wood to the dying fire the sixth man was a selfish man he did not show any interest in other sorrow and trouble he always did something when he got something in return and he always thought about his own welfare when he found out that no one in the group was prepared to give up their stake he thought in it would be unprofitable to use his stick to light up the dying fire in this way all the six persons met with a tragic end in the form of death the fire had extinguished and their corpses were lying there motionless but they still had their sticks held tightly in their hands the poet points out that they perished into dust not because of the coldness outside but because of the coldness in their hearts so that's all for today thank you for watching